Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a new video on we are having in transform ribbon another section that is date and time column. Under this date and time column, we will be touching up this date uh, option available here. In that we are having one sub option that is age. So I will first uh, create a demo table and then show you that what sub options available here and we will be dealing with the first sub option that is age. So let's get started with the video. First I will create one sample table by enter data as we do in all the videos. So sample call quickly we will create a table and then um, we are having suppose uh, 224 so we will write as second month 24th and then 2023 i'm taking just arbitrary dates and then one date will be of uh, uh, yesterday that is 23 2023 20, and then it should be of something like two uh, one year after that uh, before this so that is 224 and then 2022 similarly for 224 2021 okay so we are having all these options basically available in front of us now I am renaming this is demo table 2 okay now let's play around with this table so now i will show you what all sub options available in this so there are multiple sub options that is age date only year again we are having different options we will be showing uh, just seeing up in the next videos so here in this uh, first option when we are hovering over this age option it is telling us, uh, us the return the duration between the current local time and the values in the selected column it means that whatever values you are having in the that particular column it will keep one argument as means one op uh, basically one one uh, attribute as that particular value another attribute what it will keep as whatever your system local time is it will take up as that uh, as, uh, as second attribute now it will just uh, subtract both of them and it will find out the duration between both of these which will be declared as is and it will be inserted into that particular column only so let me show you when I will click on uh, right now this particular sample call is this uh, column is uh, not basically identified actually let me change the type and I will just go to home and I will change its type to date so it is now changed to date transform date then age so what you can see here that it has given you the duration that means it has given you duration in the means of days hour minute and then second so first one was exactly same whatever it is in the local time that is 24th of feb right so since it was that so it is giving you 0, 0.00 that means uh, zero days zero hour zero minute and then zero second but whatever we selected in the second option that is 223 so that means it is of yesterday that means one day has already passed so the age is one that means one day zero hour zero minute zero second similarly for 2022 it is 365 days and for 2021 it's 730 days that means it is giving you in terms of days hour minute and second that is only the point to be take away point from here so that was it for this video any confusion let me know into the comment section thank you so much for watching the videos subscribe to the channel if you uh, like the video 
give a thumbs up into this video see you in the next videos